Hello everybody, so in this video, we're gonna show you how to get a Minecraft 1.21.3 instance on Curse Forge. Take it away! Yes, so, step one, as always, open up your browser. You're gonna wanna type in Curse Forge into the search bar. You want to click on this first link here and you'll want to click on get curse forge app you are going to want to click download standalone and you will have a download that will start up here now while i'm just running through this installer i'm just going to explain briefly what are the benefits of curse forge so curse forge allows you to separate your dot minecraft folder into multiple different folders multiple different instances and the benefit of this is you don't have to switch your mods around all the time all you need to do is make a new instance get all the mods you want for that specific instance into the loader and into the profile and you're good to go these profiles can also be shared around everything in the files is still the same you can still access everything you just need to go through a different process, which will also be showcased here with some dummy mods for CurseForge. Okay, so now that the download is nearly complete, I'm gonna start walking you through how to actually use CurseForge and how to get the instances set up. Keep in mind, as the new version came out just a few days ago, a lot of the mods, a lot of the fan favorite mods, a lot of the stuff that you would really want to use, you're currently unable to use because it hasn't been updated yet. Some of the big players have already updated, Sodium's already updated, Iris is already updated, Fabric's already updated, the API is updated, everything's good, it's just the mods themselves still need some time to catch up. So forging your library, not now. Now you want to click on Minecraft, you want to click Standard, and you want to click Continue. Now this is going to get Minecraft ready for modding. For this step, it would be best to not have your Minecraft open as it will be messing with the directories while you're doing this. So now you click on Create up here, and it's going to take you to this screen now what you want to do here is very simple give your profile a name i'm gonna name it profile and here you can select the version it'll give you different options as you can see forge does not currently support 1.21.3 so you, so we're just gonna go with fabric for this one and you just click create. Okay, so as you can see, because we've installed the Fabric version, as most Fabric mods will require the Fabric API, it already kindly put it in here. So now we're gonna click on add more content. And that's gonna show you Fabric mods that are compatible. Now here, just find a mod you want. For example, the classic Sodium. And now you click this button, and you're gonna be back at your profile on 1.21.3. Now, all you have to do is click play, and it's gonna start opening up another version of the Minecraft launcher. You will notice this is a different launcher than this one, because it's not the same application. Now this may take some time because it has to download the version again as it is a completely separate instance. It will have a completely new version of 1.21.3 and it's not attached to my 1.21.3 that I have on my regular Minecraft. So using Gears Forge does come with a drawback in terms of space. It will be taking up more storage space than a regular Minecraft instance. 
but that's the price you pay for convenience. So as you can see on the bottom here, I have a flashing Minecraft launcher icon. We click on it, and boom, we have to log in. Don't mind me as I log in. There we go. Okay, so now that you're in Minecraft, you just click on Minecraft Java Edition, and you'll have Profile Fabric Loader. You would just click Play. I understand the risks. Don't warn me again about this installation. And you click Play. And this is more just for show. Once you've done it on Curse Forge, the job has already been done for you. The mods, everything is in the right folders. Everything will work. It's going to tell you all the dependencies needed in the actual app. So you will be fine. This is more just to showcase it for the actual tutorial. Okay, so now that you're in Minecraft, you will see Minecraft 1.21.3 Fabric Modded. This is how you know 100% without a doubt that it is working. Now you click single player or multiplayer, whichever one you're in the mood to play. And I'm just going to quickly showcase this. using a super flat free set create new world and you will see that when we get in to the world if I click a free then you will see sodium renderer 0.6.0 dash beta dot free on the side and yeah that's the end of this tutorial i have shown you how to set up an instance on curseforge how to put mods into that instance and uh, how to actually get into the instance in game so yeah like subscribe comment for more daily minecraft tutorials and bye Hi.